Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the top fuel drag boat on the block. Uh, today, I'm going to kind of walk you through some of my progress, what I got in my mind uh, on, on electronics and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, thank you. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, my, all my viewers. I got 8,000 subscribers. Um, actually, a little over 8,000. That's freaking awesome. Never thought I'd get here. Appreciate it, you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, um, yeah, stick around, you guys. Stick around. I, I didn't really get time to do anything special for you guys, so stick around. Big B with Aunt Clad RC. Right off the bat, you guys see uh, I'm kind of mocking up a hatch for the boat. Oh, man, I tell you what. Now, that thing right there has been some kind of pain in my ass. It's like my second. Actually, you know what? It's like the third freaking cardboard rendering I've made for the hatch. <laughs> trying to get it to line up. You know, once I start skinning it with my balsa, trying to get it to where it lines up and meets up to the cabin flawlessly so it's like a seamless you know uh hatch it, it's been tough it's been tough you know i've had to like recess this guy right here so when i lay my my balsa it, it meets up and getting the overall shape the way i want it oh it's been a handful you know uh the, the basic and the overall like shape may change but the actual design and how it fits into the boat will basically stay the same uh I, I really i want the front of it rounded so i can put me like a little windshield up here you know i kind of want that rounded but the top i really kind of want to flatten it out a little bit and i'm also tinkering around with extending it off the back of the cabin here at like an <clears throat> every time at like an angle at like an angle you know kind of like like um like bring the top out and and have it like curved so it, it's not so like plain jane back here you know so it's been a, it's been a handful it's been a chore you know like literally two days worth or two evenings worth of design maybe even three evenings worth of design has went into this and it, it looks simple enough you you look at it like oh yeah that's super simple what what's so hard about it but getting it to fit in here you know i've had to like flange all these getting this stringer to meet up and uh actually get it all lined up with the sides and uh the shape each shape so that my my birch lays down on each bulkhead it's been tough it's it's yeah so um <clears throat> like it's gonna be made out of out of basswood and then i'm gonna trim it i'm actually gonna cut holes in it so all i have to do kind of like this so all i have to do is cut this piece i'll have a piece right here that i cut off of each one you know and it'll be hollow and super super light you know so uh i'll show you my newest addition to the boat now the back hatch area kind of mocked up um it's not exactly what i had in mind but it's close enough to the look of a drag boat you know um you got to figure this is a rc boat so we've got to have a watertight area back here to put our electronics and stuff in our motors and all so i've actually um this is not the hatch this is just what i've gotten the inside of a piece of basswood i had cut out and i used some alcohol to kind of bend it so it I can kind of get a, a gauge of what the boat's going to look like. Uh, we're going to definitely, we're definitely running two 380 Traxxas motors in this boat. Okay, I haven't got them yet. Probably won't get them until after the first of the year uh, with Christmas and Bill, everything. It, it'll probably be, hell, I don't want to rush it, you know. So, um, yeah, definitely going two Traxxas motors, okay, and two 50 amp fly color ESCs. I'm all, I've got the, the, the hatch. I've got the boat designed. After a lot of thought, a lot of considerations, I'm going to take this off real quick. Uh, so I can put one fly color right here. Okay, once I cut these supports out. All right. And I'm actually going to cut or sand these bulkheads down. Maybe like uh, a couple millimeters off the bottom. 
okay so it's going to open up a lot of room once i do that i'll be able to drop one one here and one on the other side boom stand them up okay i've actually like whenever i designed the back of the boat i took all that into consideration when i designed it you know so it's actually going to be perfect and then my battery will drop in like right here now i'm still up in the air about center of gravity on the boat still up in the air about that i'm uh, going to be making my motor mount out of carbon fiber i'm going to build this into the boat okay it's going to help house two 380s and uh probably if i have enough i'll probably make my battery tray out of that as well okay um like for center of gravity center of gravity on this boat um I'm not exactly sure where center of gravity on a drag boat is. I would think it would be forward, you know, but, but you get, they've got the majority of the weight, a big block back here, blown V8 engine, you know, so, you know, on a, on a one to one boat, the, the CG, they got the motor, the fuel tank right behind the cabin and then the pod, you know, the, the driver. So I'm thinking the CG with the pod the V8, I'm thinking it's going to be like somewhere right behind my sponson. Uh, this is where my, my ride surface is going to be right here. Okay, my main ride surface is going to be right here. So I'm thinking battery, ESC, and motor somewhere mid-mounted. And I can use my battery, move my CG forward. Should do the trick, you know. Uh, going to go flex cables with it. And um, that way I can adjust my, 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 my drive line. I'm going to go flex cables, probably 0 .130 flex cable with a 3 16 stub shaft. Okay, 3 16 props are more common than an eighth prop. I don't think I'm going to be running a 30 millimeter prop on this boat. I want it to freaking haul ass. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm going. 250 amps, two 380s. All right. And uh, probably a single, a single 3 or 4S battery big battery okay now i wanted to mention this to you guys um i had actually documented the whole build process on this boat every bit of it and uh i actually edited the footage down in my editor and saved the footage okay i had a video and i was going to add to that video now when i saved the footage the build footage it was glitched out for some reason, man. Some reason. It was like the light, the backlight, the whole video. Uh, it was flickering like green, white, flickering green, white. And I hope this video comes out. My phone is screwed up internally. I use a Samsung S20 Ultra. And it's uh, it's been a great phone. This is what I've used ever since I've started YouTube. I've videoed, I've basically videoed every video with this phone. It's got great, like, stabilization. A lot of guys ask me what I use to video my, my videos. This is it. S20 Ultra. All right. It's got, like, uh, video stabilization, so it's not, like, all rocky, you know, whenever I'm shooting my videos at the pond. Uh, it's got great zoom. It's been great. Every, like, six months, I have to renew my phone, basically, you know, file insurance, because... Either it's like my this big screen right here gets cracked, you know, or crack the screen or the phone like, well, now it's glitching out. I've never had, well, that's real good. I've never had that happen before. But, um, yeah, so if you guys are wondering why I haven't had any great content out here lately, like topics and like videos, it's because of... I hadn't really wanted to shoot videos with the, with the phone I'm using. Like, this phone I'm using, it's like, it's it's touchy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, back to the boat, you guys. So, back to the boat. Enough of the camera and all that crying shit. All right. So, um, this is basically how the hatch is going to look. I'll probably make two hatches for the boat. One, like, for when I run the boat. And one with, like, a scale motor on the boat. Whenever I set it on my shelf, it'll look nice, you know, for... But I probably have two hatches. Not sure which way I'm going to go yet with that. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm going to put a piece of carbon fiber in here. Build it into the boat for my motor mount. Use the same carbon fiber for my battery. Uh, those are 3S motors. Okay, 4000 kV, 3S motors. So I could probably... Um, I'm either going to run like two... 2200 milliamp batteries stacked up on top of each other 
in between the ESCs I have in here. Okay, I gave myself plenty of room for a battery with an ESC on both sides. Okay, that's what I'm thinking there. All right, um, the boat's actually really rigid. It's really rigid. There's no like twist to it. Once I lay down, once I lay down this piece of skin here, all right, and then I, I made my cabin. It's actually strengthened the boat up really good. Like I'm surprised at how much, uh, well, how little flex is in the hull. I mean, it's like zero to no flex, none, you know? Um, especially when I put this back section on here, you know, and the back section, it, it don't look, see, see my camera. Did you guys see that? How it was like, brrr, that's why I hadn't been doing a lot of good videos. Okay. So, um, my thoughts, you know, when the boat takes off, I got this takeoff angle here. If water gets over that takeoff angle, it's going to, it's going to run right down the, the gunnel, right out the boat. Okay. So I'm not going to get any water in the boat. Um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is what I'm thinking about with my ride surface because I'm about to start this. Um, I'm going to actually make another step <laughs> like it like it needs another step. Right. But I'm actually going to kind of do like a, a curve to my main ride surface. OK, have a little step right here. OK, I've got a six degree AOA and then back here I'm going to make a half a half a ride pad all right so i'll have like a full width ride pad right here what the boat's going to ride on and then i'm actually going to cut this right here out all right i'll have it stepped with just a piece of a ride pad back here i was almost thinking about doing it backwards kind of like the ul19 that ride you know that little break back there but uh that's what i'm thinking about anyway well you'll see it here shortly uh, it's a bummer I lost all that footage for the boat build because it was actually a fun build. I think you guys would have enjoyed it, but you're just going to have to deal with the updates. You know, it's a bummer. So, yeah, we're going to start the sponsons next. I was waiting to do the sponsons until I kind of got the cabin structuralized so that we don't have any flex in the boat. You guys, I just wanted to show you the the what I've gotten done so far. Just a quick video. Once I get this guy here all hooked up and going um we'll get back on some nice videos i really wanted to take the 42 and the blackjack out today i just didn't get a chance to well, i got the blackjack 24 on the on the table here and i wanted to show you guys what the what the drag boat looked like beside the 24 because the drag boats actually i actually originally designed it to be 24 inches long but i cut about an inch off Ooh, probably shouldn't have, but I'm actually glad I did. So that's what it looks like up against the 24. Okay, you guys can see how wide it is compared to the 24. All right, the tunnel's a little bit wider than the 24. You guys see where the sponsons are? All right, and it's a little skinnier, okay? But a uh, good size comparison for you guys so you have something to compare it to, you know? Blackjack 24 is fairly common. All right. I think she's coming out pretty good, you guys. What do y'all think? Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks for the 8,000 subscribers. Thanks for being there. Thanks for commenting, liking, sharing, all that good stuff. I appreciate all support, you guys. I'm going to let you go. Okay. We'll see you next time. Big B with Ironclad RC.